Mr. Sutton here, bringing you the IM323 Extra Practice Number 5 Solutions on Simple Factoring of Trinomials. Uh, this one's got a puzzle associated with it. Let's take a look at that puzzle. So here's the puzzle that goes with that extra practice. In this one, we're trying to figure out the answer to the riddle, when is a wrestler king of the ring? And we've got a bunch of trinomials uh, in different groups here that we have to factor. Now, the answers for each group is right underneath it. So these answers, for example, only go with this first set of trinomials, and so on and so forth. Uh, the idea here is that once you find the answer, look for it down here, notice the letter next to it, and then you have to put it in one of the boxes down here. And all the boxes uh, down here are numbered. So if you get the answer to 1 and it's L, for example, you would put it in box number 1. And these are all in order, nothing fancy going on with these numbers. And then once you've got all those together, it should spell out the gripping answer to our question. So for each of these uh, individual problems, since these are all the same type of factoring problem, where we have a one, invisible one coefficient next to the squared term, we can just use the, the basic factoring technique of figuring out two numbers that multiply to the constant at the end and add up to the middle coefficient. And then whatever those two numbers are, we'll put them in a parentheses with whatever the variable is. Uh, so for this one, for example, we're looking for factors of 5 that add up to this middle coefficient of 6. So in this case, only uh, 1 and 5 multiply to 5, uh, and those add up to 6. So we would write n plus 1 and n plus 5. And then we would look for that over here on the left side. Uh, and I noticed that I've got a n plus 5 and n plus 1 here next to the letter W. Now, these are out of order from what I wrote here, but that's okay. You can change the order as long as you have both factors. So that means we're putting a W down below under box number 1. On this question, we need factors of 10 that add up to 7. So let me think. We got 1 and 10. That doesn't work. Uh, 2 and 5 adds up to 7, so we've got n plus 2 and n plus 5. Looking for that over here on the left, I've got uh, n plus 2, n plus 5 right there. That's h. So we're going to put that down here in box number 2. On this one, we're looking for factors of 12 that add up to negative 7. So let me think. we got uh, 1 and 12 doesn't work. 2 and 6 doesn't add up to 7. 3 and 4 would work if they were both negative. So I can use n minus 3 and n minus 4. Looking over here, we've got n minus 3, n minus 4. That's e. So e goes in box number 3. With this one, we're looking for factors of 28 that add up to negative 11. So I have 1 and 28. Nope. 2 and 14 doesn't work. How about 4 and 7? If I have negative 4 and negative 7, that would do the job. So then I'll have n minus 4 and n minus 7. Going over here, I've got n minus 7, n minus 4 under n. So let's go with 4 for n. And on this one, I need factors of negative 15 that add up to 2. Now, we multiply to a negative. So that means that our signs are going to be opposite. So I, I need things essentially that subtract to give me a 2. So 1 and 15, there's no way that's going to work. But 3 and 5 would do it if I had negative 3 and positive 5. So if I have n minus 3 and n plus 5, I've got that done. Uh, looking over here, I've got n plus 5 and n minus 3. That'll work. Let me get an, let me get an h under spot number 5. On this one, I am looking for factors of negative 24 that add up to negative 5. 1 and 24, no. 2 and 12, no. 3 and 8. Well, let me think. Positive 3, negative 8, that would add up to negative 5. So n plus 3, n minus 8. And over here on the left, uh, let's see, here's a plus 8. I don't want that. n minus 8, n plus 3. There we go. Um, so I'm putting an e in this spot number 6. Now for this one, I want factors of negative 56 that add up to, that's a 1 right there. So we've got 1 and 56 doesn't work, 2 and 28, nope. Uh, I'm pretty sure 4 goes into 56, 4 times 14, that's still not going to work. 
Uh, I think the next one is 7. 7 times 8. Ah, well, hold on a sec. Negative 7, positive 8. That would add up to positive 1. So n minus 7, n plus 8. And then I see that right here under s. So s is going to go in box number 7 right there. All right, so we've made it to the uh, second set of problems. These all have T's now, you'll notice here. So now we have same same deal, though, same idea. We're looking for factors of the last thing that add up to the middle number. Uh, so factors of 16 that add up to 10. 1 and 16 doesn't work. 2 and 8 works, though. So 2 plus 8 adds up to 10. So let me do uh, T plus 2 and T plus 8. And it looks like I've got that right here under I, so we'll put I for the 8 here. On this next problem, this one I want factors of 50 that add up to negative 15. 1 and 50 is not going to do it. How about 2 and 25? Nope. Uh, 5 and 10, if they're both negative, would add up to negative 15. So we'll go with t minus 5 and t minus 10. That's going to be option t over there, which we're putting under spot number 9. For this one, I am looking for factors of negative 9 that add up to positive 8. So let me think. Uh, we need 1 and 9. That could give us 8 if I had a negative 1 and a positive 9. So let me do t minus 1, t plus 9. And then that's going to be right here, this uh, option S. That's going under 10. On number 11, I'm looking for factors of negative 30 that add up to negative 7. So 1 and 30 won't work. 2 and 15, nope. 3 and 10, if I have positive 3 and negative 10, adds up to negative 7. So let me do T plus 3, T minus 10. And I see that right over here, this is the O. So I'm going to put an O under 11. For number 12, I'm looking for factors of negative 30 that add up to, this is going to be a negative 1 right here. Uh, 1 and 30, no. 2 and 15, no. 3 and 10, no. 5 and 6, if I have positive 5 and negative 6, that adds up to negative 1. So T plus 5, T minus 6. And then that's going to be, let's see, here's a minus 5. I don't want that. Uh, going a little further up, actually, here, t minus 6, t plus 5, we need n, so n is going under box 12. For this one, I'm looking for factors of 48 that add up to 14. So we got 1 and 48 doesn't work, 2 and 24, no, uh, 3 and 16 is one a lot of people don't think about, but that still doesn't work. How about 4 and 12? Still not working. How about 6 and 8? 6 plus 8 is 14, so I can do t plus 6, t plus 8, and that's going to be option t over here, so that's number 13 is t. For this next problem, I need factors of negative 48 that add up to positive 8. So 1 and 48, no. 2 and 24, no. Uh, 4 and 12, I, I skipped 3 and 16, that's not going to work, but 4 and 12, if I had negative 4, positive 12. That adds up to positive 8. So I'll do t minus 4, t plus 12. And I see that for h right there, so we'll put h under the 14. And now we are on to the final set of problems. Uh, we got seven more to go, and these are kind of special um, because you'll notice that all of these involve a's and b's. So this makes it a little bit trickier. We're actually going to use the same process though. Um, because you'll notice on all the problems that we're always starting with a 1a squared. So we can actually use the same reasoning we did before, only when we put the numbers in the parentheses with the a's, the numbers we're putting in there are each going to have to have a b on them so that we can get a b squared when we multiply them back out. So for this one, I just want factors of 6 that add up to 5. Um, so we've got, let's see, 1 and 6 doesn't work. 2 and 3 does, so I'm going to have A plus 2B. I have to have a B on there. And then I'll have an A plus 3B. And you'll notice if you multiply these back out, uh, A times 3B, that's a 3AB. 
in the middle we've got a 2AB. That'll give us this 5AB in the middle as well. So going to pick that out of our answer choices, I see that over here, that's this E right here. Um, so that's going to go for 15. On this problem, we are looking for factors of negative 21 that add up to negative 4. So we've got 1 and 21 won't work. Uh, 3 and 7 is really the only other option. Positive 3 and negative 7 would add up to negative 4. So I can write A plus 3B and A minus 7B. And I'll find that over on the left now. Let's see, we need a 3 and a 7. Here's the plus 3B minus 7B. So that's T, and that's going to go for the 16. For this one, I want factors of negative 7 that add up to positive 6. 1 and 7 are really the only numbers we can work with there. Uh, if we have a negative 1 and a positive 7, that adds up to positive 6. So A plus B, A plus 1B, or A minus B actually, we want that to be negative. And then A plus 7B will do it for us. And that's right here for the H. So we're putting H under spot 17. For this one, number 18, I'm looking for factors of negative 32 that add up to negative 14. So let's start with 1 and 32. That won't do it. 2 and 16 has some possibilities, though. Positive 2, negative 16, that adds up to negative 14. So if I have a plus 2b and a uh, minus 16b, that's what I need. And I see that down here at the very bottom, that's going to be letter R. So we're going to put an R over here under 18. On this problem, I'm looking for factors of 100 that add up to negative 29. So let me think here. 1 and 100 is not going to do it. 2 and 50, no. How about 4 and 25? Hmm, well, if they were both negative, that would add up to negative 29. So let me go with A minus 4B and then A minus 25B. And I see that over here, right here, option O. So we got an O going for 19. On this problem, I want factors of negative 18 that add up to 7. So 1 in 18 doesn't work. 2 in 9, if I have a negative 2 and a positive 9, I'll get a positive 7 out of that. So uh, A minus 2B and an A plus 9B. Where's that going to be? Uh, looks like I've got that right here. That's W. So I've got W for 20. And I'm only one problem away now from having everything. My final problem, I'm looking for factors of 1 that add up to 2. Um, this is not really a final boss battle if I ever saw one, but hey, we'll, we'll take it. Um, so obviously that would be 1 and 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we're going to have A plus B and A plus B. A plus 1B, A plus 1B. Now, of course, um, that you could write that as a plus b squared, but if you look at the answer choices, they didn't do it like that. They actually just wrote out a plus b twice, which is fine. So we have an n. That'll be our, our final thing for 21. And now we are ready to solve the puzzle. All right, time to solve this. The riddle again, the question was, when is a wrestler king of the ring? So let's look through here and see what words we can get out of here. So I have a W-H-E-N, uh, that looks like a when, he's, um, or he, hmm, I think it's a he. I think it's just the word he, and then S-I-T-S, -S, uh, sits. Otherwise, you're doing sit, son, and that doesn't make sense. So I think it's sits, and then on, the, T-H-E, that's kind of straightforward. And then we have T-H-R-O-W-N, that would be throne. Oh, it's so like a king sits on a throne, but a wrestler's a king when he sits on the throne. I guess he like pins the person who he just threw. Maybe that's a play on the words. Uh, so there you have it. Anyway, this is Mr. Sutton signing off. Till next time. See you later.